Hi, so this is a another comfy video uh, looking at uh, IP adapter, which has just come out in an exciting new version. So Matteo has uh, excelled himself this time because it's made it a lot easier to fiddle out, fiddle about with, and, and sort of more consistent in use. It's m much easier to set up. I mean, there are super complex versions you can do, but I'm, I'm doing the very simple one, and uh, really you can do everything you need to do on this. Exploring an, a new option with it which is to um, IP adapter tile. It's a bit hard to work out in, initially what it might be doing but with a few missteps and uh, and I, which I could have avoided just by reading reading the uh, instructions I, I've uh, got it set up and working quite nicely. So I'll go uh, over the differences from from the old one really and you need to update all your nodes uh, otherwise you won't see this and and even if you've um, done it fairly recently there there's been new things appearing like a compositional guide and stuff like that so what we're doing is a snowy winter scene and this is the image going into ip adapter here so it's just a cgi image scraped off the web from somewhere and uh as you see it's snowy and it's got a <coughs> a really distinct a really distinct colour cast and so on. But I've chosen to, sh you know, so it'll show uh, whether it's having an effect or not. Now, the tiled thing is uh, happening over to the right there. Uh, I'm making the image into two squares side by side. So that's 1024, 512. So that's two squares side by side. So it will tile, make tiles of the image. And it's resized it to my new proportion and made two tiles. It may look like one image here. If I click, there's one of them, and there's the other one. So it's broken it down, and it's running the IP adapter twice, essentially, one for each tile, and uh, sending, I assume it's doing that anyway. So, and that is going into our sampler. It is as simple as that. I'll just show you the connections very briefly. They're not very exciting. So out of the model, into the IP adapter, the adapter over there, and then back into the model here. It's just a, uh, a string on the line of the model, which is going through. And uh, I put the preview image there so you're, you can see uh, what the tiles are doing. And obviously, it's going to analyse what's in this picture, which we'll, we'll go into a little bit later on. So I'm using, with image to image, and I'm using a... Comp so I'm not really using it for composition so much as for mood. So this is doing mood and style. My composition is being handled by a noised image here. So this is a drawing I've done in Photoshop, which I've noised. And so you see, it's quite a simple image, quite graphic. You know, it's not, Michelangelo didn't do it. It's not too hard to do. And it doesn't need to be terribly precise, but it decides the horizon, the lighting, the content, etc., and and the tonal arrangements. And the prompt, we're going to have a look at here. The prompt reflects that. We've got Gothic Tower, Arch Windows, Turrets, Trees, Avenue, Winter Forest, Longshire, Distant Digital Painting. Digital Painting refers to the Laura here, which is on 52 for some reason. We've got 53 just for fun. And uh, there's the rest of it is a completely basic image to image. So our denoise is 65. The steps are 10. Now, this is where we have chances of adjustment in the IP adapter. So the strength of the IP adapter is just left on one. That's obviously you can alter the weight of it. The weight type is ease out. So it starts strong and gets less strong as the steps go on. So this weight starts at one, starts strong and eases out. And it eases out from step one through to step seven. And then it, it there's no weight at all after seven. So there's no influence of this after seven which gives the sampler a chance to to do this and do its own thing. You always have to leave the, leave the sampler and the model room for manoeuvre. So I'm not going to run this so you can see a green line whipping along quickly. I find that a bit boring, really. I'll put the workflow in and you can download it and have a look at it. It's, it's very simple. OK, so this is the result, which, as you see, is pretty much what we wanted. So we've got a bit of this in the composition. There's our avenue of trees. Trees on the left, trees on the right. Tower in the right place. It's uh, it's it's pretty up our tower, and I, I I rather like that. And we've got the atmosphere, mood, and lighting 
mostly from this. A little bit from this in the sky. So the lighting has come from this, uh, but the mood and the colours have come from the IP adapter. So it, it's a very nice way of making an image. Very, very controllable and and you, very easy to try variations. I can put another image in here. And if you notice uh, on this, it's put in uh, unasked for a village in the distance. So if I put a little village in this over here, then probably, I don't know, <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see, it'll put a village in over here. We'll do that next, just to see if that works. And you can laugh at me if it uh, fails miserably. Well, here it is uh, with the, uh, the guide, the IP adapter guide with the village very crudely photoshopped in. And uh, as I hinted, it uh, is made uh, is maybe like a fall, but not entirely, partially a fall. So these are the tiles it made. So on the right hand side, we've got this. And these, these will have been uh, um, analyzed separately, I suspect. I don't know, but I suspect so. So anyway, it likes the village there. Uh, and the result is this. So it took the village away from there, but it put an extra rather lovely building in here instead. So the only thing to change was that. The seed didn't change. Nothing else changed. The uh, No changes to the prompt. The only change was the image in the IP adapter. If, I, if I'd have been, uh, if I'd have made this a little less, <laughs> less prominent, it might have uh, it might have done it but i'm pretty pleased with this result anyway that's rather nice I, i'll just show the other one so you can see them uh, see them side by side so there you see them side by side so they so there you see them side by side and say it's the same seed everything's the same so you see these trees here are identical this is all pretty much exactly the same but the the village in the distance here has vanished the trees are pretty much the same but it's just put some extra towers and stuff on the side of our tower. And I could, of course, um, have this tower with this bit on the side here uh, and have this little village in the background as well. So I can have my cake and eat it. The other, th the, the great thing you can do is, of course, uh, it, it, is I can change the mood entirely. And uh, we'll demonstrate that next. So here we are. This is the uh, image. We're going to have a change of mood. This is how it is in the UK, and it has it how it has been for months and months and months. We're all we're all very fed up with it. It's puddles and rain, and it's uh, we're all bored with it. Anyway, so I put that image in, and it's tiled it. Let me see the tiles here, and then I've changed the prompt to reflect rain puddles, morning light, etc. So we've taken all the snow out. Everything else is left the same, and it's still using this image for the image to image and here's what we get is that nice so we again we have very nice mix of this and the mood and everything has been transferred from the ip adapter image now obviously you could do uh portrait and there's a lot more you could go into but i think i've covered um, most of the possibilities so obviously the proportion you could change here, you could have it portrait, uh, whatever. Um, if you have a, a big image, say 2048, uh, it'll make it into four images. I've only stuck to uh, two squares. I think it, uh, it can manage to do either. Um, it, you can do this in, in any proportion you want. And of course you could use the standard one. Um, if you don't have a wide image, you have a square one, then you don't use, need to use the tile adapter. But anyway, it works very, very well. We shall sure say all um, say thanks to Matteo for uh, creating it and uh, send him lots of money through PayPal, which you can find. I'll put a link uh, to his uh, his YouTube videos, and he he explains the ins and outs of it um, in much greater detail than I do. Okay, hope that was uh, informative. Uh, I might do another one when I when I've learnt a bit more about it. Okay. That's all for now.